So, my name is Timothy Trespass, and I am a targeted individual. That being said, uh, my mind is a complete and total blank. Interesting. Since I just had a bunch of things I wanted to say. All right, let's try this. Um, last night, I did not take the Ambien. Ambien, which we know is a new class of drug. Well, not that new, but... Excuse me. It is neither a benzodiazepine, nor is it a hypnotic. But it's a half and half, supposedly. I haven't actually looked at the molecule to see, you know, compare and look at the different. But, uh, nor have I looked up the mechanism of action. So, <laughs> I'm flying blind on this one. Usually I look that shit up right away before I take it. Um, I have taken this med in the past, so I did look it up before, but I can't remember for the life of me. Guess if my life were at stake, I could not remember, so you can have it. Anyway, this amazing Ambien, which um, causes people to, I, I love these stories, sleepwalk, sleep sex, sleep cooking, sleep cleaning, sleep getting in the car and going shopping and coming home, sleep going to work and coming back. I mean, some really, <coughs> really crazy stories of people who've taken this medication and been asleep, but been awake. Uh, you know, it's, it really reminds me of that molecule they're talking about that they're using in South America, they're claiming is scopolamine, but uh, anyone who's ever taken scopolamine would have something to say on that. Uh, supposedly this molecule, this drug they're using, like a date rape and robbery drug, renders the person unconscious but awake and able to follow simple commands like come to the bank put in your card take out the money give it to me take off your clothes you know that kind of stuff and they do it they do it unquestioningly uh, and then they don't remember much of it at all Frequently they're told stories or they wake up in weird places with no money and no clothes and you know, it's kind of obvious something happened but um, To me Those two things ring true the same bell, you know Whatever that mechanism of action is Is a very interesting one in the human brain and one that people under mind control should be thinking about. The somnambulance. The waking sleep. The walking sleep. The, uh... You thought you were awake, but you were really asleep sleep. Now, I've, I have seen different levels of this. Uh, one time, when we were living in Brooklyn, at the Wongs, I was drugged with something that, uh, I don't know, it made me agreeable to everything they said, uh-huh, yeah, okay, give me the keys, here, you know, uh, come with me, yeah, okay, but I thought I was in control, I thought I knew what I was doing, I thought I was making rational decisions, this is twice they've done the same thing, once in order to affect uh, the stealing of half of everything we own because it was covered in their smart dust and they wanted us to suffer and be sad that they took our Patriots recording studio. See, we have a history of this. One of the reasons we fell in love besides the, the sparkle that came out of her eyes. That's another thing. I saw light come out of this girl's eyes. They 
not like a sparkle like the sun you know and it was oh it was so pretty no her eyes lit up with bio photonic energy literally sparkling silver like I have never seen anything like that and um, actually I take it back <laughs> there is a, something that I saw once oh come on now this woman on the train, she had a some kind of laser pointer thing. And they were playing some game with me and she was dancing it around on the on the floor and and I looked at her and she pretended she didn't know what I'm talking about. But uh, it was in her hand. But that beam was kind of like silvery. Anyway, <laughs> the the light that came out of this girl's eyes never before have I seen such a thing. And she said that mine did the same, so... Now if I can remember what I was talking about... Oh, yes. With the Wongs, they drugged me. They knocked her unconscious and made me do all the stupid work. Here's a nice pile of mattresses. Right there. You know, in New York, they take the old mattresses off the street. They bring them to this place and they get like 10 or 20 bucks for them. Where they stuff new shit in them and put a new cover over them and sell them back to you as a new mattress so anyway and the other time was that time when I was they, they did something to me and I was walking around going to my appointments even though they were a month over or in the future and I thought I, you know I was completely lost thought I was functioning perfectly well but I was not. Um, and that is what reminds me of this ambient thing, you know, a walking sleep. Because if you were in the habit of, well, let's say, for instance, you had a technology that could focus in on something you put in someone, like you covered them with quantum dots, and now these nanocrystalline resonating structures that respond to RF quantum, uh, excuse me, scalar uh, microwave energy um, are in them and so you have this frequency you can tune to and stimulate certain nerve groups or, or muscle groups or brain entrainment with different frequencies. Let's just say, uh, see my memory is so bad I can't even remember what I'm talking about. Um, that's not good. And this is all the the result of a lot of things, but most of the watchers. Anyway, I didn't take the Ambien last night. Uh, the past two nights or so, I've been taking like a quarter of one, and it's been knocking me out with a nice tired, I'm tired, and I wake up feeling rested. Now, whether it's just the novelty of a new molecule making me think I'm asleep, or the fact that I just don't remember the nighttime of tss, high frequency subliminal torment and you know, dream and programming and crap, or what, I couldn't tell you, but uh, I will say that as someone who has been terminally sleep deprived for the past six years, you know, kept awake for months at a time, somebody who has now clinical insomnia, that I do not sleep without medication, uh, having a little bit of sleep that feels natural and when you wake up rested, look at these wrinkles on my head. Wow, I am really upset and unhappy. Because um, when I'm okay, the wrinkles smooth out. I didn't even know how to do that. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. God bless you all.